Hello and welcome back to Explain 11. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And today I'm going to be taking a look and reviewing an airport, another freeware airport from Orbex. And that is going to be the Osta Volda Airport in Norway. That's Echo November Oscar Victor. So we're going to be having a look at this airport in I'm pretty sure it's Norway, yeah. It's in Norway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the airport as it is in default x scenery. We're going to have a look around, then I'm going to install the scenery, and then we're going to see what the differences are, then I might take a little bit of a flight around it. I think that will be better. If you want to know how to install these sceneries and how to get these sceneries, please watch the previous video where I take a look at Lima 52 Oceana uh, Oceana County Airport in California, which is another Orbex freeware. That actually gives you a guide on how to install the actual airport. You can follow the exact same guide to do this. So make sure you stay tuned for the next, I'd say probably about half an hour for that. Okay, here we are at uh, Ulster Volta Airport in Norway, and we're just going to have a look around. Uh, looking around, I'm going to say immediately, I want to fly in this region. I do want to fly in this region. So I'm just going to take a peek and see what we get. Uh, let's ignore the weird water reflections. I just have to figure out what's going on with those water reflections. But uh, here's the airport, so you can see it's a it's a very small airport. Um, actually, it's not it's not incredibly small. It's still a fair size, but it is general aviation. So we've got a a main road over here, as you can see, and then we've got we've got a little bit of housing around this area. In fact, a fair amount of housing. So it's between two towns. It says between the towns of Usta and Volda. So I'm assuming this is one of the towns. And if we go over, I don't know, um, this way, I guess we'll see the other town. It's just a very mountainous region. Where's the other town? Around the corner? I'm assuming the town's around the corner. Yep, there's the other town. So there's one of the towns. So that's maybe Ulster or Volda. Uh, I'm assuming that's going to be Volda and that's going to be Ulster. So there, there we go. So that's the airport. It seems very simple. And I, I do want to see what um, what becomes of this. Uh, let's actually zoom in a little bit like this. Then we can fly around. But it is very simple. So we've got a windsock. We've got a turnaround at the end with a taxiway. Displaced thresholds. Uh, obviously runoff areas right there fair enough doesn't seem to be any buildings look one two three four this just looks like aprons where you can park there's no buildings in sight I guess people just park their park their aircraft there and then potter off to the nearest housing I guess I'm not too sure I'm not too sure at all but okay, that seems that seems all right. Uh, looking out over that way, that looks pr the scenery looks pretty good. But when you get a little bit closer, you can see it's not all it's not all too brilliant. I haven't got the HD mesh applied to this, so don't uh, don't be looking at this and thinking this is with the HD mesh. It clearly isn't. Uh, what I might do is now that I've been here. I might actually apply the HD mesh to it eventually uh, to to see what happens. But okay, so we've seen the airport. We've seen the surrounding area. Very basic, very simple. Uh, what we're going to do now is, oh, I'm going to install it. And we'll come back to the airport and see what has changed. And this should be, this should be very easy to see what's changed because you can clearly see what's going on as my, uh, as my aircraft goes for its own little uh, walkabouts. Right, I'll be back soon. Okay, we are back and... Well, it's not, it's not a GA airport. I, look, that's a commercial plane. That's not a GA plane. Widero, Widero. I mean, yes, okay, it's a, it's a, it's a little, uh, it's, it's a small aircraft, but still, that's a commercial aircraft. This has changed, ev wow. 
Okay, look, there's a football pitch there. Um, hey, this land mesh has changed. Has it changed? I don't remember a hill directly. I don't remember a hill right here. I remember the lake, but a hill right there at that height? I don't think so. Uh, the the road has changed. Look at that. Clear difference in the road. Wow. In fact, you you can see the change right there. You can you can clearly see the change uh, there. Now the only thing that's interesting is I wonder if cars drive down this road. So this again, this is freeway, and yet, and yet this is incredible. Let's see. Let's see. Here here come two cars. Here come or here comes a car and a truck. I know what the difference is between a car and a truck. Let's see if they continue down this road. No, they disappear. Ah, they both disappear. That's a shame because, as you can see, the road's sort of getting eaten up by the mesh just there. But, but, outside of that, if we look at this area, this is incredible. This really is actually quite spectacular I wonder what would happen if I put the HD mesh in now so here we go let's have a look we've got a, a Shell Express station are these cars all going to disappear yep Mercedes disappearing who's next don't know what you were that's a, a Volvo that was a Volkswagen I think Volkswagen Jetta or bore us. Okay, anyway, moving away from that. So we've got a, a Shell petrol station right here. We've got a Mercedes, Mercedes lorry, Ford transit van. We've got a, a spa. We've got a, a bill extra, a test, whatever those are. So they're, they're all, I'm assuming these are all bang on af accurate. So Volkswagen Passat. So these look like they're from X plane. So we've got Passat, Passat, Passat. They're not Passats, they're Borers. That's a Passat. These two are Borers. Uh, Volvo, no, more Passats, okay. Maybe that's what they have in Sweden. We have a, an industrial yard. So it did, did say that we've got an industrial yard around the area. So we've got this, got some containers, some buildings. So the houses have all disappeared in this area to be replaced by an accurate industrial yard. Got some vans, a whole bunch of vans in this area, all transits, but that's okay. I'm assuming yellow is the color of whatever that company is there. Then we've got a Suzu. We've got a... That's Corvette, isn't it? Uh, then we've got Jeep and another Suzu and Cadillac. Yep. So Suzu, Corvette, Jeep, Cadillac and Suzu. I'm assuming... I'm assuming that this is uh, some sort of garage. And that's what they specialize in. Look at this. Bill and Gummy Service Opal. This is impressive. This is very impressive. We've got Honda up there. Look at that. Honda Suzuki. So obviously there's a lot of uh, mechanics around this area. Servicing. A few Mercedes cars. No Honda's box here. Just lots of Volkswagens. Uh, I'm not sure. This is, is this supposed to go underground or not? I'm not too sure. We've got a football pitch which is pretty flat. So I'm assuming that this is actually as correct as they can get it because that's pretty flat that house is sort of floating okay my air my aircraft has decided it's going walkabouts I don't know why it does this after a while it just decides hey I'm gonna go for a walkabouts on my own um, where's my parking brake again pull it on there we go okay let's keep having a look around So a whole industrial yard, that's really impressive. Looks like it, it goes out to, yeah, look, all this section. All this section is covered, as you can see. All around there, all around there, all around this area. It looks like a little go-kart track there too. Is that a go-kart track? Interesting seeing if that's a go-kart track now. Uh, it looks like it. That looks like a little go-kart track. It is Norway, so I think they, they do have this sort of 
stuff around there. Maybe it's Finland, though, that has it. And you can see there is... Oh, that's not something to do. Okay, let's... Uh, in fact, that's probably a better way to see it anyway. But you can see that there there is a little bit of oddness going on on the mesh just there and just here you can see that that's a little bit awkward I wouldn't want to be landing an aircraft right there but aside from that is that the that can't be the turnaround for it surely not that's the turn that's got to be the turnaround right there this is actually very impressive this is actually, again, I'm impressed with I'm impressed with the way Orbex has done things. We've got a Seneca sitting here, Piper Seneca. I'm assuming that's going to have a Norwegian plate on it or registration. It does, I think. I can't be too sure. Avgas, so you can get fuel there. Very impressive. In fact, even, even these vans posting. Post office. Ford. Ford and Nissan. Orster. I was right. This is Orster. This is Orster, and that's over there in the other direction is Volga. Uh, Nissan, Toyota. We've got a police station here. Politai? Politai? That's police, isn't it? Okay, colour me impressed. Colour me impressed. Right, so what we're going to do now... Oh, do the flags actually move? That's another thing I want to see. No, sadly the flags do not move. But it looks like we've got a Hertz and Avis car hire here as well. Got minis and... Uh, what's this? Mini little Honda CRV. Lots of nice little cars around the area. Old Land Rover, another Transit camper van one of those Ford ones no I I am quite impressed with this and also look at the airport itself Inkomst arrivals Avino Osterwalde Lufthammen Holven Holden Hovden Hovden Avgang departure that's impressive I am I am impressed with this I'm just trying to find a nice screenshot now of this airport because this is an airport that uh, I was not expecting to look this quite this good but anyway we're going to take to the sky do a do a small circuit have a look around but uh, I am very impressed with this airport it doesn't have the grass sort of building up like we've got at Oceana County or Ocea Oceano Oce Oceano, I think. Oceano County, but still. Look at that. Okay, let's get into our um, our aircraft and see what we can do. Alright, let's ensure that we can actually... There we go. Can we look back? I think we can. Not sh quite sure what's going on here. Like the aircraft really does not want to move in this area. Let's just put a lot of power into it to make it move. There we go. There we go. Once we're back up on this, it's okay. All right. Well, let's uh look at this flying club. Frames are really good. Runway ahead. I'm fairly certain that hill wasn't there. Obviously, these trees are custom. You can see the custom trees. And uh, let's zoom out a little bit so you guys get a slightly better view. Um, 
and uh, let's see what we've got. Gentle takeoff. Flaps in. And um, I'm going to pull back the throttle now anyway. Because we do just want to be having a, a look around the area. So all of this is still standard, as you can see. So maybe not slowing down that quite that much. I should have put head tracking on. That's what I should have done. Right, there is a little bit of uh, not really stuttering. It's it's as if it's trying to trying to make it flow, and it's not quite able to do so. Here we get it back to about ninety. There's the airport again. There we go. Get a really good look at this. Let's even move out like this so we can see it better. That's a very well done airport. And even the little area around it. And again, completely free. Actually, this is an interesting viewpoint to be looking at. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fly around this, around this mountain, turn around and come in for a landing at the airport. But I kind of want to put ortho scenery here now because uh, I think I found a new place to, to fly. Definitely found a new place to fly. Ensure clearance on that side, which it is. That's not a problem. Keeping the speed at about 100 knots. Keeping our vertical speed roughly okay. So now this is where it's going to be slightly... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing it around with a pretty steep bank. Ooh, come on. And a little bit of a descent. Not too much. There's the road. There's the town of Olga. There's a lake. Swing it in further. Slow the aircraft down. There's the airport. And let's line up. Slow down and line up. This is a, a very scenic area too. So one thing I've got to thank Orbex for then is not only a, an aircraft that looks, I mean, sorry, not an aircraft, a scenery around an airport that looks fantastic, but uh, also, there we go, we are good for our descent. But also, um, introducing me to this place, because this is uh, really quite good. Let's get that descent going. So the, we've got uh, some vertical speed awareness indicators. I forgot what they're called, the VASI lights. Not puppy indicators here. Full flaps. Let's really slow this down. Lined up runway 24. Oh, this is good. This is good. Flying in over the petrol station. That 
those little pauses that you see, that's me taking screenshots. So don't uh, don't worry about that. Still not quite used to this uh, Cessna. There we go, we are down. Maximum braking. But I am going to swing this aircraft back around. Like so. Perfect. Okay, so that was a quick look at uh, Echo November Oscar Victor. That's quite a that's quite an airport, uh, and that's quite a change from default. I think the biggest thing that I've got to compliment Orbex on is that change from default. The default airport, I didn't know whether it was generally... I mean, it looked like a long runway. It's really looked like a long runway, so I thought, well, it's general aviation, but that's a long runway for it. Now we can see it's not actually general aviation. It's commercial. It's actually a commercial airport. So that's very impressive. Yes, yes, yes. I don't have proper brakes set up, I know. Entering taxiway Alpha. And where should I stop the aircraft? Oh, look, there's the flying club. So I guess we just stop it. Say about here. That looks pretty good to me. We'll stop the aircraft right there. Uh, not that. That. Do that. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on X Plane 11. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Uh, let's get this all switched off. There we go. Perfect. Let's have another quick look outside. And there we go. At this fantastic little airport. And you know what? I, I feel like I really should do some updates with this, with some scenery, extra scenery updates and HD mesh, and then come back here and fly in and around this area and just see how well this meshes in. Uh, pardon the pun with all the other freeware that we can get so for example if I get auto for XP around this area and HD mesh how will this actually look uh, on that will it just look like one very smooth um, sort of texture because as you can see here we can see sort of where the brakes are on this maybe not so much on this side because of the trees but you can sort of see that line where the where the scenery ends. So it'd be nice to sort of fix that. That would be really, really awesome. And then you, you can sort of see that line around there. And that's where the, the actual textures end. So anyway, hopefully you enjoy, enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. Um, like I said, like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. I would massively, massively appreciate your support. That's another good look at that airport, really. Um, maybe I'm just trying to figure out what, what could be a decentish scenery. I mean, a decentish screenshot. There we go. That will do, and don't forget to support me, uh, follow me on Twitch, that's twitch.tv slash ecgadget, and you can also find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. That's all from me, and I'll see you guys next time in X-Plane 11.